The end of August. The thirty first of August to be honest and uh, welcome to the channel, my program, it's the midday report. And we're rolling with the eight month. If you are still around, still alive, well done. You've been through um, lockdowns galore, you've been through the virus, you so far, we made it so far. Let's uh, log in, log on, and uh, let's get talking. Hello, Dolly. Dolly, first up, Dolly saying good afternoon and uh, welcome. A little bit too loud. Welcome, welcome, Rajesh Nand Kumar. That's a new spelling of Nand Kumar. It's really like spelled as Nand Kumar. Watching from Benoni, it says, Carl, sit, Carl, how are you? Uh, how are you guys? If you are tuned in and you're watching, say hello. Don't be like that. Just let it gauge. Some of you watch and watch and watch. I never say one fucking thing. There's Jackie. Is online. How are you, Jackie? A long time. No, yeah. Uh, how is my brother, man, Mr. Leon? Uh, Farad Sheikh, how are you doing? Right, we're gonna let uh, 30 minutes to go. Let's get cracking. And um, as you guys say, hello, Usha Manila says hi, newbies. Uh, Adila Lockhart says hello, KC. And welcome, um, KC, my son, watching from Dubai. Okay. Anthony Pele is online from uh, California. What's the time in California? Uh, Go to Niger, says how's it? And. Um, Right, Anthony plays on our platform from California. Eh? Um, he watches the evening show and he watches the day show. Whew. You have to worry about the time frame, the time zones there. Um, I'm feeling sleepy for him. Uh, got up some part. Uh, tuned in to from Pretoria, Benga Nairu, Bangar or Benga, Bangar, Bangar Nairu, Bangar, Benga, Bangar. Right, good afternoon and welcome, guys, um, to the program. Uh, it's the Midday Report. If you're new to the program, it's what we do every weekday, Monday to Friday, from 12.30 to 1 o'clock. We're already 12.33. We talk about current affairs. We have some fun. We have some quizzes sometimes. Savvy Kanyapan joins us from Melbourne. Melbourne. We don't say Melbourne. You say Melbourne. Am I right, Savvy? Australians say Melbourne. They don't say Melbourne. Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne. West side, east side. What up, guys? Let's have some fun. We have we do so we roll. Uh, Daya Pata says good afternoon. Pam, Mary, good afternoon. Right, guys, it's the 31st of August. It's the last day of August. Tomorrow, first day of September. Spring was in the air. Beautiful weather, unless you suffer with hay fever and sinuses like me. Then that's why you will have found my nose is going, whatever. I should have stayed in Joburg, actually. By the way, I'm settled into my new place in uh, Durban, not at my mother-in-law's house. I'm in Malvern, Malvern, if you want to say. Um, the first thing I did was get my office sorted out. The rest of the house was still under renovation, shall we say. And uh, yeah, so uh, I didn't say this previously, and let me just say it now. I'm, I'm now... I am now, whew, it's hard to say, like to get it out. And I didn't really make it like, there still should be an official announcement, but let's just do it now. The last day of August sounds like a good time. I am now a resident of KZN, Durban, Itaquini. Uh, I am back in Durban. Yep, here is right. I have relocated back to Durban. I'll talk about that again on my feet tonight, but I've relocated back to Durban. E. Jaquini, uh, municipality and Malvern, or Malvern is where you, I'm a Durbanite, Neil, thank you very much. Um, yeah, um, so the whole lockdown, all unrest issue brought me here, and I decided to uh, still, actually it was done before that. Uh, welcome, thank you, Diri, for the welcome. Uh, Durbanites, Ekos. Like a struch here. 
in my land from my geboorte. I was born here in Durban. So I'm back in Durban. Uh, right, guys. Um, yesterday, last night, Durban, the Los Angeles of SA. Yep. Welcome to KZN. Says Raza Kasim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Raza Kasim. Uh, Shaman Pillay says Durbanite. Guys, last night I spent the entire hour talking about Jackie Shandu. Jackie Shandu and uh, his version of the Avon Ford primary. And I spent some time again talking about it for those of you watching on today's show. The Avon Ford, the issue at Avon Ford Secondary School in uh, Phoenix, where a learner, a black learner, so now we must talk color now, a black learner was assaulted by Indians outside the school. So Jackie Shandu yesterday, in his, not yesterday, the day before, or one of the days in his video where he was going to the school said that the learner in school, the black learner, had spoken about the riots and unrest and justice for those who were killed, whatever. Apparently that sparked a racial tension. Then he was caught outside the school and hit. And Jackie Shandu was very clear this was a racially motivated issue. Um, however, after meeting with the school principal, he then posts a, um, I'll read it for you, actually some of it. He then posts a, um, a press release um, stating that the learner was accused of stealing. A, I'll just read that part for you again. Uh, he says that the pretext for Lungisi's unprovoked attack was that he had attempted to steal a pair of spectacles from his fellow schoolmate during school hours. So, originally he said that uh, the guy, Lungisi, was speaking about the Phoenix unrest and justice for those who were killed before he went to the school and then he went to the school and then he gets a different... Now, you see, this is where we spread false information, rumors, all of that. Kieran says, very nice place. I work in Queens. But I, well, Malvern, I like to say Malvern, is quite a quiet place, very quiet. As you can hear, hardly any noise here, besides my son and wife making noise, and Casey Jr., uh, or Casey. So uh, it's nice and quiet. Oh, forgive me, I'm just recovering from the weekend. Um, so yesterday I, I, I phoned Jackie Shandu, by the way. After, the, after our conversation, after I went live, after I finished, I went, uh, and by the way, today I was making contact with uh, the school, Avon Ford Primary, to get the um, proper information as to what happened. But yesterday, by the way, guys, I'm going to just share something with you. If you don't believe me, I spoke to Jackie Shandu yesterday and we are arranging a consult or a meeting. Let me just give you something. If you don't believe me, let me share, me, let me share with you. That's it. I'm not sex. I'm not having sex. And I saw your video, which was quite nice. Thanks to Shandu, Jackie. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> Yesterday. Hello? Uh, Mr. Shandu, Jackie. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Good evening to you. Good evening. My name is Casey. I'm a social media influencer. Sorry? Uh, my name is... Right, so Jackie Shandu, you all heard that. Uh, I had a conversation with him um, as we went along, and I'll give you the uh, end result here, yeah, what he said at the end. I spoke for quite a while, about four minutes. He allowed me to talk. I have a strong history of... Uh, I got, then I got. I, I, I have a strong history of... Uh, of even right now, I'm involved in, in building a playground for a transit camp for kids yeah. in a transit right. camp. You know, right. Those are things we do to build social cohesion and, and, and help each other. So, sorry, I've been talking for too long. I'm going to give you that. <laughs> I'm going to let you talk now. Uh, I, 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 I like the energy. I, I really like the energy and the, and the passion, you know. 
No, I, that I got. That I, that I tell you I got. That I got. How it, to say it, that? It, 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 it says to me, you are a man of conviction. I am, sir. That's what I am. You, you are a man who has a strong set of beliefs and principles. I appreciate that. Whether or not uh, I agree with those beliefs and principles, that's a story for another day. But there is something that you feel very strongly about. That's good enough. No, for sure. I think, fast to fast to engage, uh, yes. That, that's the kind of people that will take this country forward. Uh, I'm, I'm open to engagement. Uh, of course, uh, in, in now is not the time. Now is the time to coordinate how and when. Right, so at that point, the call cut because his uh, battery went dead. And I did chat him on WhatsApp after that. He did come back to me today and say that we'll meet. So I gave a time of 4 o'clock, by the way. So uh, the long and short of that is I did call Jackie Shandu last night. I was going to call him when we were live, but it wouldn't have been fair. But I didn't ask him permission to go live and call him. Uh, so I am trying to get to the bottom of the Avon Ford issue. Uh, Jackie Shandu is, is, is punting it, as, which I don't agree with him, by the way. And... Uh, he is calling it Indian hatred. Uh, you know, that's where, and I said to him, I said to him in my conversation, I said, Mr. Shandu, I'm not going to agree with everything you say. In fact, I don't agree with things. Um, he's heading for his, uh, for his title of his uh, media release was Indian racial hatred persists. Indian racial hatred persists. That's his uh, title of his, uh, what's up, Casey? Hope you're good, bro. I'm good. So uh, we look forward to it. Hopefully we can get Jackie on the platform where he can talk to you and I and tell us where he comes from. Because I said to him, I want to tell you where I come from, where we come from, where most of the Charles come from, what happens in our settlements. And I said to him quite clearly, you don't live in Chatswood, you don't feel in Phoenix. So how do you really know what's going on? He agreed with me. I said, I don't live in a shack. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I can't relate to what's going on there. Uh, but um, we're going to engage we're going to try and find out. We're going to try and find some common ground. <laughs> Jackie Chan is a radical, I can tell you that. You know, um, but he was willing to engage, willing to maybe he sees it as a platform for himself, maybe uh, it's something to further his own. Whatever the way, as long as we are able to engage. Uh, you know, even when Julius Malema talks about Indians and Chatsworth and Phoenix, the reality is, you know, it's fuck all about Indian in Chatswood and Phoenix and black people in Chatswood and Phoenix. He's living there. You know, nothing what happens here. You, you know, in a way, you don't blame them, but they're going to talk. They should talk from a position of knowledge and understanding or trying to understand. But of course, you know, if they're going to push an agenda, then they push their own agenda. Um, while I got your attention, don't forget, if you want to support me uh, and get noticed, put your ad here, only 500 bucks for two editions. The midday report and the late night report cost you 500 bucks plus. I'll intro your company. Like today's show brought to you by our RPM uh, panel and paint, uh, who's been supporting me now. And RPM panel and paint is going to support my uh, jungle gym projects uh, in the uh, transit camp. I mooched, mooched, I mooted. A jungle gym play area for the transit camp in Crossmore, and uh, Nathan of um, RPM has come to the party and says he's willing to assist with his TLBs, whatever, to uh, level the playing fields or level the ground there. Uh, Jeremy Pillay says, Casey, please talk about the father that lost his life during a rock throwing incident. Um, we already spoke about that, Jeremy Pillay. Uh, Bold both Casey, very few people do what you did. Uh, will do what? We call the Jackie Shandu. <laughs> Why? Well, 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 uh, yeah, okay. I'm supposed to do it, but the phone Jackie Shandu. His number is there. We found him, and we'll we will be will chat. Oh, he can tell me to piss off. That's okay as well if he wants to do that. That is right. But obviously, you heard that he wants to chat. So let's chat. Uh, like I said, hopefully, I'll do a live video with him. We'll Speaking out is good and all, but people need to get the proper facts before going to the media. <laughs> well, there we go. So right now, that incident in Phoenix, by the way, and why I'm going to disagree with Jackie Shandu, and most of you might have seen yesterday, I did a video outside Meadowlands Secondary School in Chatsworth where 
There are hundreds of black learners. I don't know what the percentage is, but there are hundreds of black learners there. Uh, amongst Indian learners, in the middle of a predominantly Indian town, I think we can still call Chatsworth an Indian township because majority, and according to Julius Malema, anything over 50% is majority. Remember when he said majority Indians are racist? He didn't say all, majority. 51% is majority. So majority of Indians live in Chatsworth, so it's a predominantly Indian area. He has Medolan Secondary School, as is Westcliff Secondary School, for loads of Indian or black students there. But for years, there have been no racial issues, no issues. Look, and this is what needs to be addressed when I'm addressing. If outside the school or even inside the school, a black kid punches an Indian kid, is it a racial issue? If inside the school, the Indian child boots one black guy, black learner, is that a racial issue? Because guys, yesterday's news in Alex, Alexander Township, one black student stabs another black student. It shouldn't be a black student stabs another black student. It should be a learner or a student stabs a student. But you see, when you bring race and color into it, we have to now do because everybody because you can't use race in one incident and not use race in the other incident. Because now, students, learners will be learners. 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 17-year-olds, some donkeys, 18, 19, still in school, right? <laughs> Medolan Secondary attended 11, 11, 7, those days it was Indians only. Yes, it was Indians only, uh, Medolan Secondary. It was a normal school. It became a technical school, I think. Uh, yeah. Bachila says, uh, bully. So, this is what I want to address with uh, Shandu, you know. Uh, I'd like to address the persistent Indian hatred uh, that he talks about. <laughs> and of course, you know, guys know there was a rock throwing incident. There was an incident in, in, in Shal Cross where a resident was stabbed to death by intruders <laughs> who were black. But we see that as a criminal act and not a Racist act. Uh, Casey, racism is biased if only he has one color and one victim. Uh, yeah. I hear what you're saying, Jeremy Pele. I hear what you're saying. I, I, I understand it. That's why I'm trying to address it in my own way, on my own platform, uh, and deal with it. Racial profiling is nonsense and being used to push the Phoenix Massacre saga. Violence in school has been an ongoing problem for a while. <laughs> indeed, says Kesh, indeed, Kesh Nisilei. Violence in school has been an ongoing issue. And Keshni is from the Phoenix area. Uh, in fact, it's all over. Violence and bullying in schools. It's all part of growing up. That's right. So, by the way, this incident, there was something happened in school. Then there was some retaliation out of school. <laughs> Why race has to come into it, I don't know. But we'll try to get to the bottom of it as best we can. I've got the school governing body's number given to me by somebody who WhatsApped me anonymously and here's this whatsapp chairperson of the governing body and see uh, what you can order them right <laughs> so that's that and uh, of course guys if you uh, I'm going to be pushing my supporter badge now my supporter badge if you want to be a supporter and you support me so many of you guys come online and love what I do like dealing with Jackie Shandu and all of that going out to meet them <laughs> takes my time takes my energy not that I want to get paid for it, but I want to get paid for entertaining you and providing you with news updates, uh, what you do. So um, if you are a supporter and you can't afford it, it's $79.99 a month. I was very clear not to make it 80 Rand. 80 Rand sounds a bit unaffordable. So I went for $79.99. Because I believe that $79.99 is affordable. So at $79.99, are you willing to be a supporter? You can say yes or keep your mouth shut or don't say anything. I don't expect all of you to run at one point, run here together. If you would like to be a supporter, you can WhatsApp me on 073-767-5836. 073-767-5836. Well, the Daniel said that. And, I, and of course, my haters will come out and say, uh, I'm trying to get my... Look, if Jacob Zuma can go crowdfunding, the ANC can go crowdfunding, 
and they're giving you fuck all. In fact, they're stealing from you. I'm giving you something back. My whole story about my going out and trying to interview people and doing stuff cost me as well. Not claiming money for that. I'm claiming money for entertaining you. If you feel I'm entertaining and uh, you feel you can afford it at $79.99 a month, you can cancel at any time, by the way. You don't have to continue. It's not like telecom. Yeah, you have to have a contract or something. $79.99 a month. Uh, come on, say me, count me in. Say me, I'll, I'll take your name down. Say, count me in. I'll give you no names. <laughs> Right, WhatsApp me on 073-767-5836. I'll tell you how to log on. Uh, Lol will donate the one cent to the ANC. <laughs> It'll cost you more in uh, fees to donate that one cent. Uh, that's the truth. This guy is uh, one or I, says Wesley Daniel. Um, and also, guys, while we're on, uh, while we're on, we're on day 31. Just hearing the news, there is another, another variant. C12351.2 which was here yeah, from Saras Gopal says, count me in, right? Saras is up. Saras Gopal, well done, Saras. Saras says, count me in. If every day I get one person, uh, Plagi Pule says, well said, you're providing a service to the public. Well, Plagi, are you prepared to sign on? I just need to know that. No, uh, I see that on news can't. I see that on the news can't understand. Says him. So, we have a new variant. By the time we reach the end of the year, we can have other variants. Who has been vaccinated? Who's received the vaccine? That's the truth. It's always the front line getting down to the bottom of every story. Can't be in, bro. <laughs> hey, Wesley is in. Well done. Woo -woo. We're on a roll. We've got two guys. Uh, Wesley is on. Kid. 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 Suba. Kid. Check. Oh, signing on. Except what kind? Guys, Wesley just shoot my eaters there. Uh, give them a shout out. Uh, me done, Sushila. Well done, Sushila. Uh, if you done, me done. Uh, KFCCC. What's that? KFCCC. Um, yeah, it is. Mary Jane Denise watching, especially Jane. Jane is a justice for one cent kind of person. Uh, Mary, oh, Mary is just fucking dumb. I case you hope you're well. Uh, she was regal. How are you? I am well. Feeling a bit hungry now. Wife is making some cabbage and something, mutton or something. Chowna. Uh, then I got other stuff to do. Right, there we go. Uh, also, guys, did you? <laughs> You can see that. Uh, MEC for health. Did you see that video? Let me show you the video. Let me show you this video. Man. Eyeball. Did you all hear about the kids that in MEC for health? I don't even know her name. One fat woman. She is a health hazard herself. Did you all see her having a party? Who knew? Who heard about that story? This is the MEC. This is the MEC for KZ and Health. Right. <laughs> MEC for health and a birthday party. Surprise birthday. Let's watch it again so you know. This is her dancing again. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm going to make it. Angie is like, no mask, no. This is the MEC for health, KZN, who is telling us and telling the public how to be safe. <laughs> and there she is having a surprise party, you know, that's the height of, of irresponsibility and uh, she's getting docked 50% of her salary or whatever. Uh, to me, it's a slap on the hand. 
If you guys are caught in a public space without a mask, you can be fined. It's an arrest, am I right? Why is there no arrest? Why The same thing happened in the beginning of lockdown where one of the, uh, uh, was it a minister or someone, she, she had a party at the house and she wasn't issued with a fine uh, or arrested. This is hosting a gathering with no mask. Is that wearing a mask? In a public space, is it not against the law? Is it not? Well, at Animal Farm, they say all are equal, but some are more equal than others. A highly irresponsible uh, behavior from our MEC for Health Day and uh, Sishle Zikalala has slapped you on the wrist, given us on the wrist. Uh, because, as who said this early on, the ANC and the government don't know how to deal decisively with wrongdoers since their inception, since 1994. We haven't dealt incisively with uh, Minister Stella Abrams. Yes, yeah, Stella Abrams, it was, that's right. She had a party at her house. That's the kind of people that have in parliament that are incompetent. They are incompetent. They are incompetent. And we're not talking about whether they're black. We're talking about the fact that they're fucking incompetent. Doesn't matter what color you are. If you leave the race out, you're just an incompetent person trying to run this country. Casey, I hope you're having a blessed day. Candace Tesha Faye Gombard. Ooh, so many names. I'm having a blessed day so far. I'm a bit on the hungry side and I'm going to have something to eat. Um, yeah, so that's the MEC for health. Casey for president. Busting balls and taking names. <laughs> Tell people. Busting balls, taking names and try and do a small donation for $79.99 a month. I love it when my haters, haters come on and they uh, want to challenge my 79 19 a month uh, project. Uh, trying to earn a living. Honest living. Jacob Zuma is earning money, wants to, wants to take money from you after he's told from you. I'm not even stealing from you. By the way, this one over here. This one, this one. Wait, this side. This side yeah. World's Trust Estate Planning. Guys, if you haven't got your will sorted out, as I attended the funeral this weekend, get all of me. 073 I haven't got your world sorted out. Right, we're going to end the show now. We are three minutes away from ending. Uh, if you haven't heard, petrol price going up tomorrow, Wednesday. Petrol price, another good news, going up by four cents a liter. Four cents per liter. Petrol price is going up. Right, guys. Now I need you guys to rush to the pumps and fill up your tanks and you're going to save a lot of money. The average tank is about 45 liters, right? If you go to fill up now and you got some petrol in your tank, you probably got about 10 liters. Let's say you got 10 liters. You're going to, you're going to fill up another 35 liters if you top it up at 4 cents a liter. You're going to see 35 times 0.04 140 yeah yeah that's what you're going to save uh damn high gas in california as well this bastard this is 140 is my calculation right if you fill your tank up today a lot of you want to save a lot of money am i getting the maths right here it's not odd to me right 35 35 liters you're gonna fill an average if you fill your tank up, 35 liters, and you're saving 4 cents. 120, eh, right? 4 cents times 35. Nothing new second month is story. Please do the math. It sounds too low to me. Is it right? If you fill up your tank, how much, are, what are you going to be a saving <coughs> between today and Thursday? What's going to be a saving? I heard the price is going down by 11 cents. No, today's news. I also heard the price is going down by 11 cents. Now it's going by 4 cents. Diesel price, however, is going down. Diesel price is down by 14 cents per liter. Uh, diesel price is going down, but petrol price is going up by 4 cents. Um, well, that's the news I got so far. If you get, If there's other news coming through, we will find out about that. That's what I know for now, and uh, that's right, says uh, So you'll save, am I right? 
you fill your tank up tonight, you will save a massive 120 in the pumps. Take that money, put it towards your bond, put it towards your credit card debt, put it to good use. Our website is going down. Well, let's put a new story and tell you where is where is new story. Invoice maker. Well, maybe you're right. Let's see. Unless you don't believe certain news channels. Uh, the same 79 will be invested for the poor. Let's support that. Yeah, 140 is right. I was right. Uh, there we go. News 24. Unless you don't believe News 24 shit where the petrol price increase is to kick in on Wednesday. There we go. And this story is three hours ago. Three hours ago, uh, listen to the article. I can't listen and subscribe. So, petrol price increase. 35, 10, 4 cents, 104. That's right. Nicole Houghton got it right. Uh, he just looks too, too small a number that if you go and fill up your tank, you're going to save 140. Take that money, go out for dinner, buy yourself something. Just to spoil yourself, spoil yourself with that uh, 140. End of the program, end of the program, end of the program. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Big thank you to CK Smooth, always supporting me. KC, uh, www.ckSmooth.co.za. If you want to support me, $79.99 a month. Take it for three months. If you don't like it, you want to advertise on my platform you get two ads like this have a fantastic tuesday tomorrow is wednesday somebody catch it tonight on the uh, late night uh it's a, i also see news reports going up yeah there's cash pistol shot like seven grand in one year for those thieves uh, Roll up. We will catch you tonight on the evening report at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, peace from California, Casey. Much respect. Thank you, Anthony Play. Thanks for tuning in all the way from the U.S. of A. Enjoy the afternoon. Lily Naidu, Casey, thank you for keeping us informed. You're the stars as Candace, Tasha, Faye, Bombard, CTFG. Have an awesome uh, rest of the day. We'll catch you tonight. Until tonight, 8 o'clock, remember to always keep it. Keep it what? Mother, that's right. And I am KC Caro. And I'm. It's 8. I'm out. Bye.